What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Ron, back with DFS Greatness. I'm here to give you great lineups, great picks. Let's have a great night. Hopefully, everyone had a good night last night. Had a good one. Um, GPP cashed in a lot of my lineups. Um, hopefully, everyone had Devin Booker, um, Alpha Payton in their lineup, Clay Thompson, and Mike Conley. That's some guys I recommend you guys to throw in your lineups to turn out good, you know. Um, let's get to it, man. The um, first game of the night, you got the Bulls going against the Kings, 231 and a half total. It's a pretty good game. And you got um, the Hawks going against the Magic, the 225 total. Um, Hawks is on the back to back. Played yesterday, Tim Woods against the Rockets, 225 total. Um, Nets against the Clippers, 232, 232 total. James Harden might not play tonight, he's questionable. A lot of value with their team with James Harden on play tonight. Let's get to it, man. At the point guard position tonight, um, you got a lot of good options. But a guy I like a lot, if um, um James Harden do not play, is 6,700. He's too cheap to pass up. It's Chris Paul, man. He's in a fantastic matchup tonight going against no Jeff T. Jeff T will be out tonight. So I like I like the matchup a lot. Eleven worst defense as a whole, and they give up the thirteen most fancy points to point guards at the sixty-seven hundred price tag. Chris Paul he need around thirty-six fancy points as five X. He's fourteen hundred dollars more on Fanduel. I like the play. I like the um, um pay for him with twenty-two percent twenty-two percent usage rate. Last two games, average thirty-eight fancy points. Do not seem the wrong way to playing him at all. And another guy that he's in a fantastic matchup as well is De'Aaron Fox going against Chicago, man. A-Force defense as a whole, and they give up the eighth most fantasy points to point guards. $900 more on FanDuel at 7,100, need 30, 35 fans points is five times value. It's averaging 36, so that shouldn't be easy. I mean, that should be pretty easy for him. I'm going against Chicago, man. I, I like the matchup a lot. Don't see nothing wrong with playing him. De'Aaron Fox, man, been, he been balling pretty good. And if you want to um, also – Look at D'Angelo Russell. They got smacked last night against Utah. But, you know, it's the NBA. That could happen. I'm um, going against the Clippers. Seven worst defense as a whole. Give up the fourth most points to point guards. Not eight, um, 8,700. Need 37 points. 5X, $900 more. I think 800 more on FanDuel. Um, last three games going against the Clippers. Averaging 32 fans points. Most recent. Dropped 51 against them. Don't seem the wrong with playing this guy. Think he's a fantastic matchup. And I'm going to give you one of the jewel of the day, man. They, uh, that's my guy. No T T is out tonight. My guy, DJ Augustine. The three worst defenders I feel in the NBA is Trey Young, De'Aaron Fox, and Thomas Stellarinsky. Like, yesterday, Trey Young got torched. What did he get torched for? Kyrie damn near had a triple-double last night. So, you got to look at the matchup. I, I, when, I, when I make lineups, I always look at matchups with players that struggle playing defense. So, DJ Augustine against Trey Young, they pumped his price up a little bit. But, you know, I still pay him. Um, Atlanta, worst defense as a whole. They give up the number one most points in the NBA at point guards. At 5,100, 25 fancy points is 5X. Last three games going against Atlanta. Augustine is averaging 31 fancy points. Um, I don't see nothing wrong paying that price for him for DJ Augustine. He's $800 more on FanDuel. Um, last three games, um, um, Augustine's averaging 23 fancy points. I don't see nothing wrong with paying him. And the news, um, I think Derrick Rose is going to be out tonight. So you go back to where with Tyrus Jones. Um, I don't see nothing wrong with playing against Houston. Two hundred dollars more on Fanduel, forty seven hundred. He's projected to get eight fantasy points. Wow. Um, last three games, averaging seventeen fantasy points. Um, he's playing start a minute, so if um, Jeff T is already out and Derrick Rose out tonight, T will have a lot of usage tonight. Don't see nothing wrong with playing Jeff T tonight. But the point guard, I'm gonna lock in um, Chris Paul. And at the shooting guard position tonight. <laughs> It's a lot of good options, but the guy I'm on tonight going against D'Angelo Russell, Zach Levine. <laughs> I mean, going against um, De'Aaron Fox. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Six worst defense to hold, give up the second most points. The shooting guards, why not to lock him in here? Because he's going to be playing heavy minutes. Last game back from injury, dropped 50 piece, um, playing around 38 minutes a game, 35 he's averaging. Um, I like him a lot, man. Three hundred dollars more on FanDuel. <laughs> no something wrong with it. But another guy going to get Chicago is Mr. Buddy Hill. Um, a force defense get the tenth most points of shooting guards. I like Buddy a lot. Seven thousand. He need thirty-three fancy points, just around five x. Uh, last two games, averaging twenty-five. Um, 
your point your 25 uses right and he got a 46 47 percent chance to hit value tonight so he should be able to do that so i i like him a lot and a lot of gpp lineups don't seem the wrong with playing this guy um at all tonight but another guy in that same um chicago game i didn't mention is 5400 chris dunn well um you know sacramento is not good at um garden at the two guard so i like him a lot Set, give up the second most um, points to shooting guards same like that was Zach Levine, eight hundred dollars more on FanDuel. He needs twenty nine fantasy points. That's five x last three games. He's averaging twenty eight fantasy points with twenty percent usage rate. I like him a lot tonight. But check out guys, if um James Harden is out tonight, Eric Gordon will be chalked tonight. Everybody will be on Eric Gordon. I don't see anything wrong with him. Minnesota give up the third most points of shooting guards at 5,300. He need 26 fantasy points. That's 5X, $400 more on FanDuel. I don't see the wrong with throwing this guy in your line, though, man. He definitely is a good play, just something, uh, just a sleeper play. You want to go that direction on him. I'm going to lock in Buddy Hill at the small forward position tonight. Um, the guy that you, I like a lot tonight, you got um, Aaron Gordon, Buddy Hill, they're the top guys. Aaron Gordon, probably in the best matchup of the night. Um, Atlanta, worst defense in the NBA to give up the second most points to small fours. 7,200, 35 fantasy points is five times value with a 22% usage rate. Um, he's $100 more on FanDuel. Aaron Gordon in a fantastic matchup. Um, Buddy Hill, I mentioned him earlier. But another guy, 6,500, Otto Porter. Um, going against Sacramento, their defense is um, six worst. They give her the third most points to small forwards. Um, he had a bad game against um, the Clippers the other night. I played him. It was terrible. It's 6,500. He need 29 fantasy points, 5X just about. Don't see anything wrong with playing him. He got a 42% chance to hit value tonight. And then another guy, um, I think I like him too. You still got – um. I think for this um, Magic game, you got Terrence Ross. You just don't know which Terrence Ross you're going to get. Atlanta, they dead lies in each position. So if you're 5,600 and need 27 fantasy points to hit value tonight, you should be able to get that. He got a 49% chance to hit value. He's $300 more on FanDuel. Don't see anything wrong with it. <laughs> this is a guy, Evan Fournier. I'm going against Atlanta tonight. Last worst defense to give it the um, second most points. The shooting guards. <laughs> I mean, shooting guards. Small forward. So at the 5,500 price tag, 28 fantasy points is 5 base. Last three games going against Atlanta, averaging 38 fantasy points. Keep an eye on that one. Another guy in that same game, a um, cheap guy, John Dick Isaac, 5,200. He's 1,100 more on FanDuel. Definitely done better draft games play. He needs 26 fantasy points tonight just to hit around 5X. I'm pretty sure he's um, projected to be 22% on, 39% to hit value tonight. Um, I like him a lot. Don't know, see nothing wrong with playing this guy tonight. I think he's in a fantastic matchup. <laughs> At the power forward position tonight, there's a lot of good guys out there. You got um, marketing. I mean, I think his ownership, probably 31% ownership percentage. His price went down, thank God. He was like, I'm, I'm pushing AK. Um <laughs> He got 47%. Um, he got 54% chance to hit value going against um, Sacramento. Um, they got a defense six worse. They got the 10 most points to power fours. I like the price 36 of 70, um, 300. He 36%. I mean, 36 projected tonight to get 36 fantasy points. That's five times value. I like this guy a lot. I already um, got Aaron going locked in in the power four position. Another guy, Montrez Harrell against Brooklyn Biggs. If you had Goobert last night, you had the um, Goobert probably could have went for 70 last night, but it kind of blew him out. Um, and Montrez Harrell, they give up the fourth most points of um, power four centers. So it's 6,600. You need 32 fantasy points. It's 5X, 1,200 more on FanDuel. Um, I like him a lot, man, just to be different. I don't see the wrong with throwing this guy in your lineup. Montrez Harrell, I mentioned Otto Porter. Um, John the Isaac, I told you guys about him earlier. And you always got P.J. Tucker. He playing a lot of minutes. His minutes is always going to be there. And um, I know Daniel House, I heard he's not going to be starting tonight. I think um, Aaron Gordon is going to be starting. <laughs> this position, is pretty, it's, a lot, it's not really a lot of good guys to rock with tonight. So I'm going to go get Montrezl Hero to be a little different. <laughs> At the center position tonight. 
You got Cat. Um, he's the top player tonight. Last three games going against um, Houston. He's averaging 50 fantasy points with a 29% use rate, 10000 He's $1,400 more on FanDuel. Cat should be. Um, I want a lot of Cat exposure. But it's still, you got Vucevic tonight. I like him going against Atlanta. Um, at 9,200, you need 50. That's 5X, $800 more on FanDuel. Last three games going against the line, it's average of 47 um, fantasy points. He has 64% chance to hit value tonight, so that's a good thing. Um, I mentioned lower marketing. I got him locked in. I'm all lower marketing. His price went down 7,300. Don't see nothing wrong with him. And some other cheap centers that I like, too. You got Jared Allen going against the Clippers. Um, I think this guy is safe. Seven worst defense to hold to give up the second most points to centers. Um, it's 27 points projected. That's 5X. I like that price for him. Last three games going against Clippers, he averaged 26 fantasy points. Hopefully, he get good, good, uh, he get good minutes, man. Last game, he only played 20 minutes. He averaged 27 for the year. And if you want to go that direction, you got Willie Clyde Stein, 5,200. Um, he's in a good matchup, too, going against Chicago. A first defense, give up the um, six most points to centers. At 5,200, he need 30 fantasy points to hit value. Um, Bagley has came back, so um, Kelly, Willie Clyde Stein minutes has went down. Hey, if you want to be different, it's another guy I like him a lot at 3,500. Ed Davis, you just throw him in the GBP lineups. He's 3,500, needs 16 points. That's 4x tonight. Last three games, he averaged 19 fantasy points. It's somebody you just you know you can throw in there to be different. I don't see the wrong with it. But you um still got a guy like um another cheap guy. He always come in a, um, a lot of my lineups. I be playing a lot. You still got Robin Lopez, 6,200. He always been playing pretty good. He's getting good minutes now, man. It's two hundred dollars cheap on FanDuel. It's sixty two hundred. Man, this guy sixty two hundred. I remember he used to be like four thousand, but he's been balling, man. Last game forty five thirty three. I'm eighteen. No sense the wrong with that. Well, man, this is my picks I got for tonight. Hopefully, this video I gave you guys will been helpful. This is a, um, a core that I'm probably gonna rock with tonight. I don't see nothing wrong with playing this core. And hopefully this video been helping. I got a few um, sleeper plays for tonight. I didn't mention in my video. Um, you guys, Joe Harris is 4,900. Zubag at 4,700. I mentioned Tyrus Jones, Dario Sark. You can go back to well with him at 3,900. Don't seem to wrong with uh, playing it for that guy. Well, man, until next time, man. This is your boy Ron back with DFS Greatness. I'm out. Good luck, everyone. Cash out. Let's get it.